Hello, my name is Margaret Walters and I'd like to welcome you to our prayer service today. So this is Wednesday, June the 2nd, 2021. And before we begin our prayer, we remember the Lekwungen speaking people who have lived on this land for countless generations. And we pray for their well-being, their healing, and their flourishing. And we begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning. More than those who watch for the morning. Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Lord, hear my voice. With my whole heart I want to praise you, O Lord, hear my voice. If you, Lord, should mark iniquities, who could stand, who could stand? I will wait for the Lord, my soul waits. And in his word do I hope. Our readings today put us in touch with great mystery. Usually in, in our gospel stories, when Jesus performs his wonders, the crowds are in awe and amazement and flock around him more and more because of the healing and the grace that they can receive from being in his presence. But today, what Jesus does puts the people in a different kind of awe. They become afraid. They do not understand what is happening. And they don't want to be around Jesus anymore. Perhaps today's readings, which, which cry out for help, put us in touch with our own uh, inability to simply use our reason to understand uh, the deepest meanings of our world. In the end, we rely on God's grace, and all we can do is just abandon ourselves into his mercy, and God will lead us beyond, certainly God will lead us beyond what we can understand. We express our faith. Lord, you have always given bread for the coming day. And though I am poor, today I believe. Lord, you have always given strength for the coming day. And though I am weak, today I believe. Lord, you have always given peace for the coming day. And though of anxious heart, today I believe. Lord, you have always kept me safe in trials. And now, tried as I am, today I believe. Lord, you have always marked the road for the coming day. And though it may be hidden, today I believe. Lord, you have always lightened this darkness of mine. And though the night is here, Today, I believe. And so we pray through the words of Psalm 119. With my whole heart I cry, answer me, O Lord. I will keep your statutes. I cry to you, save me that I may observe your decrees. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I put my hope in your words. My eyes are awake before each watch of the night, that I may meditate on your promise. In your steadfast love, hear my voice. O Lord, in your justice, preserve my life. Those who persecute me with evil purpose draw near. 
They are far from your law. Yet you are near, O Lord, and all your commandments are true. Look on my misery and rescue me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me. Give me life according to your promise. Great is your mercy, O Lord. Give me life according to your justice. Great peace have those who love your law. Nothing can make them stumble. My lips will pour forth praise because you teach me your statutes. My tongue will sing of your promise, for all your commandments are right. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek out your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. Our Gospel reading today is taken from Matthew chapter 8 and we will uh, read this passage three times and leave some silence in between so that these words of God can penetrate into our mind, our heart, our soul. When he came to the other side, to the country of the Gadarenes, Two demoniacs came out of the tombs, met him. They were so fierce that no one could pass that way. Suddenly they shouted, What have you to do with us, son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? Now a large herd of swine was feeding at some distance from them. The demons begged him, If you cast us out, send us into the herd of swine. And he said to them, Go. So they came out and entered the swine, and suddenly the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea and perished in the water. The swine herds ran off, and on going into the town, they told the whole story about what had happened to the demoniacs. Then the whole town came out to meet Jesus. And when they saw him, they begged him to leave their neighborhood. When he came to the other side, to the country of the Gadarenes, two demoniacs coming out of the tombs met him. They were so fierce that no one could pass that way. Suddenly they shouted, What have you to do with us, son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? Now a large herd of swine was feeding at some distance from them. The demons begged him, If you cast us out, send us into the herd of swine. And he said to them, Go. So they came out and entered the swine, and suddenly the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea and perished in the water. The swineherds ran off, and on going into the town, they told the whole story about what had happened to the demoniacs. Then the whole town came out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, they begged him to leave their neighborhood.
When he came to the other side, to the country of the Gadarenes, two demoniacs coming out of the tombs met him. They were so fierce that no one could pass that way. Suddenly they shouted, What have you to do with us, son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? Now a large herd of swine was feeding at some distance from them. The demons begged him, If you cast us out, send us into the herd of swine. And he said to them, Go. So they came out and entered the swine. And suddenly the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea and perished in the water. The swine herds ran off, and on going into the town, they told the whole story about what had happened to the demoniacs. Then the whole town came out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, they begged him to leave their neighborhood. And continuing our silence, we bring our prayers, our petitions, our prayers of thanksgiving before God our Father. I invite you to just remember now um, family, friends, and all of the situations happening at this moment that you particularly want to pray for. And we bring all of our prayers before our loving Father, as we say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And as we have been doing in, in, in these prayer times, I would invite you now to just dedicate your whole self and your whole life to God, that you may be um, more and more uh, God's presence in our world. God be in my head and in my thinking. God be in my eyes and in my seeing.
God be in my mouth and in my speaking. God be in my ears and in my listening. God be in my heart and in my loving. God be in my hands and in my doing. God be in my feet and in my walking. God be in my soul and in my being. May the peace of Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing into his loving presence. Thank you for joining me today. And I wish you a lovely Canada Day tomorrow and hope that it's a time of uh, reflection and peace for you and celebration. Amen.